But first, let's start with a story that is... Um, <laughs> so it's not just for Jimmy Reefer cake. I mean, it really, we really are at the point now, I think, where I don't have a conversation with anybody who doesn't say that marijuana laws, recreational marijuana laws, um, are anything but inevitable. I, I mean, I honestly, I've been hard-pressed to find anybody, regardless of their political persuasion, who's not convinced that within five, six years, every state in the, um, in the country will allow for recreational marijuana. Well, in Texas, I mean, excuse me, in Colorado, they have been so successful in terms of taxing marijuana that they are going to actually have to hold a moratorium day because they are afraid of collecting too much from marijuana taxes. Allow me to explain. Colorado has a fairly strange tax law. You know, out in Colorado, they all fancy themselves sort of libertarian-ish, I guess. And out in the... Are they the West? They're considered the West, right? In the range, you're on the range, you ride your horse... You roll into town, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> there's, you know, there's an attitude in Colorado. So they are very concerned about uh, raising taxes. Well, there's a Colorado Taxpayer Bill of Rights, and it requires voters to approve of new taxes. In 2013, a year after Colorado legalized recreational pot and this is before uh, it was instituted and they figured out a mechanism in which to sell it why not voters approved 25 percent taxes on the pot the law however requires the state to project how much taxes are going to be raised and new taxes must be waived if the state collects taxes that are that exceed those projections and in fact the taxes would have to be refunded so in 2014 or i should say the pot taxes were projected to raise 70 million dollars in 2014 they actually raised 58 million dollars 2014 was the first year that the, the pot went on sale. So they were $12 uh, million short of tax revenues in terms of their projection, safely under the $70 million mark. Because if they collect $71 million, they have to refund a million dollars, which, of course, is a huge pain in the butt. Because then you either, I don't know if you have to refund it to the people who actually paid them because they're sales taxes or what. It's very difficult. So uh, being 12 million shy of projections is actually a win for the state. However, in the first five months of 2014, the marijuana tax revenues were $25 million. In the first five months of this year, they are $44 million. So the state is worried that they're going to collect too much in terms of this marijuana tax. They may actually ultimately have to have another referendum to raise the amount that they're allowed to collect on these taxes. At this rate, first five months, second five months, at least 44 million, right? So you're already 18 million over with only, with only 10 months into the year. They're going to have to take a couple of these days. Now, they do it in New York State, right? Like there's a week where they have no sales tax to help with uh, retailers in Colorado, they're doing this with the pot sales to help the state from collecting too much in sales taxes on pot. So 
just to give you a sense of how successful it's been, at least in terms of a state revenue uh, side, um, that's Colorado. I imagine they may have to take two, two or three different. And also, it gives you a very clear sense. Apparently, people really like pot, <laughs> at least in Colorado. Uh, 